During our farm basics time today, we're going to talk a little about satellite imagery. How important is this for farmers? And by the way, how big are these satellites? That's a question I recently asked a group of non-farmers and I got everything from, well, they're huge, uh, as big as a great big ballroom, to, uh, I don't really know, I have no idea. I've never seen an actual satellite out there. How big are they today? Well, and, and here's one thing that's really interesting is this has changed over time. And you think about satellites and yeah, you may have a picture of, well, I've seen some maybe in a museum or whatnot, and, and they're good size, but not bigger than a car. Then you look at things that are going up today that are really small. So what a lot of people are talking about now is the size of a bread box, very small satellites. Because of that, obviously the cost is a lot less than if you have something that's 100 times bigger. So because the cost is a lot less, they can send a lot more of these satellites up in the sky. So what it used to be just a few years ago is you might get three or possibly four satellite images over the course of the summer. Well, now going into this next year, I know there's at least one company, Farmer's Edge, that's telling farmers, hey, you're gonna get daily satellite imagery. Well. I don't know if it's necessary to have it every single day, but it's awfully nice to have it on a very regular basis, and I'd way rather have it daily than weekly. So farmers utilize satellite imagery in a number of ways, and when you think about crops, what differences you'll see and what you can see from the satellite is you'll see areas that are getting stressed in a field. For example, let's say that you have a field and there is a sandy pocket in that field where the soil is just like a beach and you get a really hot dry spell with no rain in the summer, what are you going to see? Well, that crop is gonna be stressed in that area. Now, from the satellite, you can see that there are differences out in the field, and what that does for the farmer is it triggers him to say, huh, something's going on in this area of my field, now I can target where I'm going to scout. And for farmers, they've got a lot of stuff going on on a daily basis, everything from record keeping to equipment maintenance to maybe they have some livestock they have to take care of and they've got these crops by the way that are growing every day and if they get a field that's really big and they find out from the satellite that you know if you just look in this one area that's the only place where something's going wrong they can go right to it and save a lot of time and the reason why it's so important to have this regular scouting and targeted scouting is we want to find out what we need to do as farmers to fix things going into next year. When a farmer rolls along with his combine at harvest time, he'll get a nice yield map and he'll be able to see different yields in different areas of the field. That's all great. The problem at harvest is you don't necessarily know what caused that low yield or maybe even what caused that high yield. With satellite imagery during the course of the summertime, the farmer gets his yield map in advance. So now he can see Ooh, hey boy, if I don't go out and scout that area, chances are that's going to follow through all the way to fall. It's going to be a problem. If he can scout and scout early, then maybe he can do something to fix that and save at least some of the yield for this year, but certainly save all or most all of the yield for next year. Satellite imagery is certainly being used by more farmers and, and used more often now with images coming daily from providers like Farmer's Edge. Well, one thing that farmers do see daily is weeds out in their fields. If they've got this one, they want to get it under control right away. Can you identify this week's weed? 